Lesson 32, Simplifying and Evaluating Expressions with Integer and Zero Exponents. Well, exponents can be positive, negative, or they can be zero. So here's some examples of powers of two. And then what the value is with those powers. So if we take two to the fourth power, that's two times two times two times two, which is 16. Two cubed is eight. Two squared is four. 2 to the first. Every time we go down one exponent, we half the value. 2 to the 0 is half of 2, which is 1. If we went to 2 to the negative 1, if we kept going with the pattern, this would be equal to 1 half. 2 to the negative 2 is half of a half, or a fourth. 2 to the negative 3 is 1 eighth. 2 to the negative fourth is 1 sixteenth, and so on. If we had 2 to the negative n, that equals 1 over 2 to the positive n power. So there is a rule for negative exponents. So for any non-zero number x, okay, so we want our x to be not zero. X to the negative n is going to equal one over x to the n. And we could say that one over x to the negative n equals x to the n. So if we have two thirds squared, that's just equal to two thirds times two thirds or four ninths. Now if we had two thirds to the negative two, the negative means take the reciprocal of two-thirds. Once you take the reciprocal, it's no longer negative, so it's just going to be three-halves squared, which is nine-fourths. If we had um, a number with a negative exponent, two to the negative two, and we divided it by a number with a positive exponent, we can move the two to the negative two to the denominator, so that's taking the reciprocal and make it positive. So that's 1 over 4 times 9, or 36. So to simplify an algebraic expression, we don't, we leave no, we cannot have any zero exponents or negative exponents. And that will make it simplified all the way. To simplify an algebraic expression, leave no zero or negative exponents in the answer. So there is a quotient property of exponents that I wanted to teach you about. This just says if m and n are real numbers and x does not equal 0, then x to the mth power divided by x to the n. So they have the same base, x, and it equals x to the m minus n. So we can subtract exponents. Or if n is bigger than m, we may want to make it 1 over x to the n minus m. That might help us keep our exponents positive. So here's an example. x to the negative ninth just equals 1 over x to the ninth. If we had, here's another example 
d to the negative 2 divided by c cubed. We can bring d to the negative 2, make it 1 over d squared. So we have 1 over d squared c cubed. Here's another example, 1 over a to the negative fifth. We can take a to the negative fifth and move it to the numerator, make it a to the fifth. Here's an example using the quotient product property. If we have 2 to the 4th divided by 2 squared, we have here the same base, so we can say that's equal to the 2 to the 4 minus 2, or that's equal to 2 squared. If we had 2 cubed over 2 to the 6, this is another example, we could say that's 1 over 2 to the 6 minus 3. This is by the quotient property which is 1 over 2 cubed. And that's the end of the lesson.